CBS2 is working for Chicago during these tough times, helping answer your questions about unemployment. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is live with the daily struggle many people face after losing their jobs. Megan. Right, Brad, I'm still hearing lots of complaints about the unemployment insurance claims hotline. And for those workers who are actually able to successfully get a check, they're having to prioritize which bills they can actually pay. Movie theater screens quickly faded to black at the start of the pandemic. That meant Ashley Jenkins' job managing the CMX Cinema in Wheeling was gone too. Despite dozens of calls to the Illinois Department of Employment Security hotline. No, I haven't gotten anything. Since it, the last week of March? I haven't worked since March 26. Jenkins said she received a debit card and a certification date, but no funds. And hasn't been able to reach anyone at IDES to ask. And with May 1st looming. How are you prioritizing? I am buying food, um, making arrangements with all, all of my, my uh, bills. So they're all just getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. What about rent? Rent's gonna get pushed back as well. And uh, Unlike Jenkins, Ben Wolfman is one of more than 838,000 people that have successfully filed for unemployment claims in Illinois within the last eight weeks. He had been working at Hewn Bakery in Evanston. So I, uh, I exist behind the pastry window and uh, in, front of, in front of the bread wall which is still open for orders, but running with a skeleton staff. So Wolfman was laid off in March. He's able to cover some of his cost with his second job as a classical musician, but says his budget is noticeably tight. It's definitely prioritizing food and rent. The other things that I guess I, uh, I've been investing in is books. Just trying to live by tightening the belt a little bit. And uh, so yeah, it's, been, it's not been easy, but uh, trying to get used to it getting used to life during the pandemic until they're able to return to work. But then Jenkins has another concern. It is scary because once this all opens back up again, I, everything's going to be due at one time. When it comes to Illinois and our neighboring states, only Michigan workers filed more unemployment claims in the last eight weeks, more than 1.2 million. Indiana had more than 580,000. Reporting live, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.